This is Dr. Shakil Ahmed. Today I want to talk a few words about testicular torsion. Please subscribe my YouTube channel Shakil Thel Society. As we know, tunica vaginalis is surrounding completely the tissues and that is causing the tissues to be attached only to the spermatic cord and therefore freely suspended in the scrotal sac appeared like clapper in a bell. Testicular torsion occurs as the result of faulty attachment of the testes to the scrotal wall. Viability of the testes depends on the duration and the number of twists of the spermatic cord. This slide shows the viability. The viability will be excellent if the torsion is diagnosed just in six hours and it is detorsed. The viability is significantly decreased if the duration of the torsion is from 6 to 24 hours, while there is no chance of viability if the duration of the torsion is more than 24 hours. The role of ultrasound is to identify the twisted cord and also to determine the direction of the twist. In this direction has value for manual detorsion. As you know, the right is torsis in clockwise direction, while the left one torsis in counterclockwise direction. Whenever we are trying to detors the testes manually, it is advised to detors the right testes counterclockwise while the left testes to be detorsed clockwise. And after that, detorsion to check whether the pain is relieved or not. If there is no improvement in symptoms after reasonable number of attempts of detorsion, rotation in the alternate direction is also attempted. Ultrasound determination of the direction of the torsion now avoids the haphazard approach, although possible, but it is difficult to display a twisted cord on static ultrasound images. This image shows a twisted spermatic cord. This is the twisted spermatic cord that is appeared like whirlpool appearance and also the refractive shadowing is also present. The torsion knot is seen as solid heterogeneous mass adjacent to the testes and sometimes it is confused with the enlarged epididymal head. The knot may have area of prominent shadowing. The testes equigenicity may be normal, decreased or increased and the equitature may be homogeneous or heterogeneous. Rarely there is hydrocele. And due to presence of this hydrocele, it is possible to identify a bell clapper deformity very clearly. In this image, this is the torsion knot while the testes is somewhat appeared as normal. 
in the second image this is the knot of the torsion and that is is, is infarcted this is the knot of the torsion this is also a lesion or knot of the torsion here shadowing is appreciated In this image, heterogeneous hypoequic torsed and infarcted tissues. This is one, and this is the other one. Both of these tissues are heterogeneous. This is the classic appearance of bell. And this is possible because of the presence of this hydrocele. This is the in these images we can see this is the normal tissues, both of them. In this torsus has increased ecogenicity. While this is one is normal, this is with increased ecogenicity in and that was torsed. In this image, enlarged hypoequic torsed and infarcted is present. In this disease is normal. Non-specific abnormalities on ultrasound are testicular swelling skin thickening and reactive hydrocele. The grayscale ultrasound can provide useful information about viability. If this is normal or homogeneously hyperequic, it is very likely to be viable regardless of duration of symptoms. If this is, is hypoequic or heterogeneous, it is likely to be infarcted and non viable. The role of color Doppler ultrasound is to detect the ischemic changes of the torsion by comparing the vascularity of normal and abnormal tissues. Important to realize that intratesticular vessels travel in certain vascular planes in the orientation of the transducer with respect to these planes of the vessels will affect definitely the appearance of the vascularity of the tissues keeping in mind to compare both tissues but difficult to place too much diagnostic significance on mildly asymmetric appearing flow. In most of the cases, a torsed statistics will have no detectable flow. In small percentage of cases, there will be detectable blood flow. And that may be asymmetrical and decreased as compared to the normal site. Prolonged torsion will produce inflammatory changes in soft tissue around infarcted tissues and therefore will produce hyperemic scrotal wall. These are the testicular vessels, longitudinal review of the testes in the in this image, in this is the vascular plane. While this is the longitudinal view perpendicular to the vascular plane, so we should consider before labeling a tissue as torsed or normal, we should compare the findings with these planes. Now, this is the normal tissues, normal appearance of the vessels. This is the torsed 
twisties while it also shows vascularity but by comparing the vascularity of these two testes it appears it is low in asymmetrical this is also diagnostic for the torsion if the torsion is delayed and more than 24 hours is lost the testes will be heterogeneous hypoechoic with no blood flow but sometime reactive increased blood flow will be appreciated in the scrotal wall rarely some patient with torsion will show symmetric appearing blood flow in this mild asymmetric blood flow will not be so significant to offer the diagnosis confidently therefore combination of grayscale and doppler findings will lead us toward the diagnosis color doppler is effective way to document the success or the failure of the detorsion if we see the resumption of the normal flow or post ischemic hyperemia it will be diagnostic for detorsion these images show a normal and torsticity but there is asymmetrically low level flow in the torsed these two images show the first image there is no flow and it was labeled as torsed there is also hydrocele after manually detorsion the flow is resumed the pulse combination of gray scale and color doppler imaging is very accurate mistaken torsion not for enlarged epididymal head can lead to misdiagnosis of epididymal mitis so we should avoid such mistakes in post ischemic testicular hyperemia may misdiagnose as arthritis in the uncommon setting of a spontaneous detorsed testis post ischemic testicular hyperemia may be misdiagnosed as arthritis if the patient is in the status of post detorsion hyperemia thank you for watching please subscribe my youtube channel by the name of shakil health society thank you